Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Let's go ahead and continue to pursue this chaotic, horrible, swirling black hole in the background. Let's cheer things up with a hungry Luma. See what this guy has in store for us. Hmm. I'll tell you what he's got in store for us is eating all of our star bits. So this time around, you're gonna need 1,800 claims that they just want enough to snack on. The goalposts are moving every time. Hungry Luma. How can everything be a snack? I need you to see a dietitian. You know that it's a problem when you go through the doot 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 doots seven or eight times. That's what's gonna be the discussion when they sit down with the doctor. How many doot 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 doots of star bits did you go through, Hungry Luma? And if your answer is more than five, we've got a problem. Okay. Would be nice for the game to just kind of send us off to that direction, but no. Instead, we'll do it ourselves because we're a hard worker. The Flash Black Galaxy. Give this a whirl and see what this one's all about. We're going to take on the jumping around in the dark. So, um, a warning though to those of you who may potentially have light sensitivities. This one does have a little bit of kind of light flashing on and off. So... Just want you guys to know that, and be careful if that's something that might upset you. Don't want anybody to feel icky watching this Let's Play. Only from the things I say. Okay. So this level is very weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> Starting off on the right foot, but thankfully Yoshi's here to keep us company. This one's very, very strange. Oh, apparently you can't... Oh. Well... <laughs> Get out of here, Goomba. Yeah, this this is a weird one. I'll just preemptively address that. This is a weird level. Not sure I necessarily care for it. Okay. Ugh. I'd like it if my pointer would participate. Pointers these days, right? Never wanting to work. Ugh. Lazy. Okay, so we've got this little area right here. You've got to dodge this Goomber. And your first instinct might be to go right. It should be, because that's the correct way to go. But let's explore all of this terrifying tower. See if there's anything in the area for us. As my controls still do not want to cooperate. We still need to find the Comet Metal, which as you can see is right here. Grab that and then head on to the second part of the level. Which, if I remember this one, is kind of a pain in the buns. So, fingers crossed that we do well. So far, so good, right? Those birds, though, in the first part of the level are a little bit tricky. There's coins strewn about. So, potentially, keep those around if you're having a little bit of trouble... Getting your bearings might help, as we are accosted by our otherworldly fellas here. Yes, these guys, Ooh, excuse me. I don't know how often the lights flicker on and off, but there's this weird, like, oh, I guess I can't get, <laughs> I guess I can't get the star bits while I have Yoshi. I almost called them Yoshi bits. Can't get Yoshi bits while I have Yoshi. But yeah, the birds in the background, if you're listening to this with headphones, potentially, you'll be able to hear them like kind of fluttering and like sticking themselves into the ground and then trying to unwedge their like weird horns on their heads. It's the, it is a very troubling and unsettling sound. It sounds like somebody is stretching a piece of rubber and I don't like it. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Flash black accomplished. Easy peasy, right? First try. And we got the Comet Medal. Thanks to your help, viewers, you are all amazing. Okay. Just the sound of the world we're in going like in the background, it's very menacing. We already have a Prankster Comet for the Clockwork Ruins, which seems a little bit uh, premature. But that's okay. 
So we've got some more cleanup to do. We'll come back and probably do another World 6 mission. But first, we need to go and get a visit with the champ. Challenged us last time and I'm not one to turn down a challenge. I don't know where he is. Uh, there he is. I'm not one to turn down a good challenge. So let's pop back into Honey Hop and see what he's got in store for us. The Chimps Score Challenge. This one, if you remember, from Cloudy Court, I think that's the one that it was, maybe, is very similar. It's all about going on a rampage, murdering the local wildlife for points. Okay, let's go ahead and engage. Finally, he says. What took you so long, you big dummy? All right. You ready to take on the greatest game player in the galaxy? He's a gamer, also known as the Chimp. All right, so we need 10,000 points. So let's go ahead and get started. The game just kind of throws you into it. Oops, okay. Good start. Make sure that when you do chain the Octum- Okay, great. When you do chain the Octumbas, that you grab the coins from their corpses. It's the blood money that we need to survive. Nope, stop. Plenty of coins here on the outside, around the outside, around the outside. So coins are a good, quick, cheap and easy way. Okay, to get points. This is going very well so far. I'm also good at lying to myself, okay. Let's see, there's probably a lot of Octumba's up here. Can't grab that third one because the game flung me the wrong way. Very cool. Super awesome game. Thank you so much. All right, there's a bunch up here. Let's put these guys out of their miseries. Take their lunch money. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell, like, when you're in the air like that, what your trajectory is going to be. Not really a huge fan of not being able to see where I'm going. And you're going to say, excuses, D-Mike, excuses. And you're right. All right, there's a ton of these buffoons up here. Let's see if we can chain it all together. Using your Luma Spin is good. Yeah, it's really... <laughs> you get like two in a row. It's probably not the best. There we go, three. I'm missing out on grabbing the coins. Oops. That's a huge loss. Nice amount of points, though, there for a moment. All right. What is this? A lot of coins there. Oops. Unless I do something magical here, I don't think I'm getting it. Uh, I would have had it if it would have given me, like, you know, more time than it said. That's too bad. Well, gosh darn. All right. Guess we're doing this one again. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, he's patronizing us. That's a little casual racism, huh? Or et ethnic ethnicism, huh? Who do you think you are, guy? All right, let's take a different path. I don't know if there's anything good over here that would be more beneficial than the route. The route I took. <laughs> wow, the route I took last time. All right. There we go. I think you should get more than 300 if you chain these bad boys together like there's no incentive to really do more than that I don't know if there's any coins up here either from there is not this is just a waste of time great okay gotta hurry it up this is easier to kind of take them from behind okay that was that's good chaining them together there was the small circle of coins that was present from before. I should probably go back and grab those on the first level. Yes. So that's good. That seems to be... This is roughly the amount that I had last time, too, so... Nope. Probably shouldn't jump from there. That's... Seems very death-like. This is a free, I think, thousand points, so it's kind of hard to pass that up. Oops! Kind of hard to pass that up, I would say. Yeah, alright. So let's head to the top with, uh... 6,000 is pretty good. Gotta be quick. Gotta move our buns. Gotta get that focaccia in motion. 
I do love a good focaccia. Fun fact for all of you, if you're a fan of Italian breads, focaccia I thought was something that's old. It's not. It was actually invented pretty recently, and it's delicious. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. Because it is great. All right. No. Get up, Mario. We're going to do worse than last time. Oh, no. Good thing I did the first level quickly, huh? Okay. I was only 1,500 points off, which is, you know... Not insignificant. Wonderful. Okay. Take three, huh? All right. So let's not take the route I did last time. I feel like I wasted a good amount of moments trying to make that happen. I was trying to be fancy and go off script, and I goofed. All right. Let's let's not do that. This course was constructed probably in a way to lure you up here, and it's. A Oh my goodness, it's a good choice though. That's a free thousand points, just with the coins alone. So we'll stop trying to blaze our own trail for a moment and see if we can get this guy. Yes, epic maneuver, you're welcome. That was incredible. First time this has probably ever been done, especially on a video. I'm proud to have brought it to all of you here in cyberspace, in the multiverse, that is our reality. Okay, let's just go to the, let's try to get to the top as quickly as we can this time. That's where the big, that's where the big earners are. That's where the top percent is. Potentially where my rat attack is. Here we go. All right, so we'll grab this real quick. As we get, just get absolutely blasted by coin, by these guys. These, Whatever these guys are called. Octumbas on all sides. Here we go. This looks good. Oh yeah, we're chaining it. We're chaining it. We got a, a one-up for that. Didn't grab any of the coins though. That's fine. Oh, we got it this time around. Plenty of time. We can strut our stuff a little bit. Try to set a high score that will never be matched by anybody in the Super Mario Galaxy community. Yes. Unbeatable. That is a world record. 12,600. Amazing. First try as well. So he's going to give us the clap really quick. And that's our reward. Very nice. We love it. Incredible work. Let's go ahead and quickly grab that because we just spent a ton of time on that star. Oops. But that's what happens when you do things for the first time. It does take a little bit of effort. Okay. So, that's a galaxy complete. I think that was the last World 4 galaxy remaining. Man, this game is persistent. We just did you. And you want more attention already? Jeez. Patience, game. Patience. All right. So, I do believe that... World 4 is complete, so let's go ahead and let's do one World 5 and one World 6. Space Storm. Yeah, you're right here. As much as I don't want to do this, we're doing it. I had a great time with the first star, so the second one's definitely going to be better. To the top of Topman's Tower. Jet to the very tip. Right to the tip, everybody. Prepare yourselves for this one. I think there's a new semi-new mechanic that I think was introduced in Galaxy 1 a little bit that we'll be experiencing here today. And no, it's not Pool Stars. It is not. Oh, and Luigi wants to play. Okay. Sure thing. Why not? Why not make this level easier by using Luigi? Here we go. I don't know what this does. But I'm going to hit it anyway. So there you have it, everybody. That is the, the mechanic of the day. It turns everything grayscale. And it temporarily slows down time. Which, you could probably do this level without it. But there's also moments in here that are pretty tight timing-wise. Like that. We're having... The slowdown is pretty useful. 
I do also like that it kind of like muffles the music a little bit. Kind of makes it sound like it's coming through an old radio. It's a nice touch. And there's plenty of opportunities to use it as well, so you've got that going for you. It will definitely help our ascent of the Topman Tower. Let's see that swamp. He's, he's going for it. Okay. I guess I am not going to go that way. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was almost pure, pure tragedy. Okay. I'd like to jump up here, please. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, I, I do I do really like the the changing of the music. I think it's a nice touch. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to simulate. Because this, I mean... Did you know that back in the day, there was no color in the world? And everything was uh, kind of slightly diluted? <laughs> oh boy. Well, this is tricky. There's a pipe down there. I'd like to slide inside it at some point. All right. There we go. So I could probably do this without it, but I've already challenged myself enough. Oh, that was rude. Now I have to be threatened by these Topmans. There we go. Let's go ahead and murder them in response. Ooh, there's a third Topman. This is the kind of trampoline variety Topman. Not too bad. We are just burning through this episode. It might be a shorty. We'll find out. Okay. That is 87 stars. Once again, I still don't know what ghosts are, and I have not looked it up, so. Mail Toad? A letter for Luigi. Help wanted. I've got a few odds and ends I need taken care of. If you don't mind a little hard work, come find me. I'm working over in Space Storm Galaxy. I'll make it worth your while. So two things. One, I don't know what that means. I don't know when he's going to make it worth our while. Also, Guillermo, probably anti-union. All right. So we'll let Luigi take a leave of absence here. And as promised, we will do one World Six Star. Something a little different. Boop. Okay. The game really opens up at this point, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Let's do something new, perhaps. Something new, something old, something blue and gold. That's not how that goes. But this is probably a... I would almost say it's everybody's favorite galaxy in this game, potentially. The throwback galaxy. We're going back in time, everybody. Hope you're ready for a little nostalgia. The Return of the Womp King. For those of you who grew up with the Nintendo 64, this is going to look very reminiscent. So buckle up, prepare yourself for history. The future is now. Oh yes. This is Womp's Fortress from Mario 64, complete with a pink bob bomb. Hey! Oh, you betcha. We're going to get some revenge. It's been... I mean, according to this game, it would be like... I don't know. I can't do the math in my head. Like, 13 years in the making? Because I think that this game... This game came out in 2010. And I want to say that Mario 64 came out in 1997. I could be wrong. But that sounds right in my, in my brain. But yeah, just listen to that rock and tune. If you don't like that, you don't like amazing things that are wonderful for everyone. But they have since changed the appearance of the Womp. You guys remember those? The Thwomp or whatever it is. But yes, it's a very jazzy cover of the Womp's Fortress music from before. And obviously things are a little different. The palette's a little different, the set pieces are a little different, but it's still amazing and wonderful and I love it. It's a simple galaxy though, that's what makes it fun. The nostalgia probably 
covers up the fact that it's not really the most involved, but that's okay. What is this? Oh, a ton of star bits that I was not ready for. It's a good thing I had to come over here, though, because I forgot to get the Comet Medal. It's not a cannon like there used to be. Huh? So... The bob -ombs here are advocating for violence. They want us to take care of their problems because they can't do it for them, so leave it to Mario. But there you go. You collect the music notes, you get your reward, so clearly music is the answer, everybody. Let's jump down here again. We're gonna collect more of these star bits. Beautiful. Now getting to that... I don't know if it's really possible from this side, but I'm gonna try it. I did it, I'm amazing. You are welcome. That was 100% a pro move. Speedrunning strats. Should help you achieve your PB. There you go. But let's go ahead and reroute. I do like that funky saxophone. Oops, something's fell. Mario 64 is still one of my favorite games of all time. It was revolutionary when it came out. Still holds true. I remember playing the 64 in my youth with my sister, and it was a game that we both really enjoyed and have a lot of fond memories for playing. So if you haven't played it, I'd recommend it. It's very fun. It's timeless. It was kind of the game that put 3D platforming and adventuring on the map. Obviously, there are games that have come out in that era that probably did it better, but this one was definitely up there as an icon. So kudos to Nintendo for making such an amazing game. But we know what to do here. One knock on the swamp's back. Here's his ailing pains. We're going to slide inside the building, which you don't do. We're in the upside down. Oh. Oh, man. Womp King's got himself a crown. <gasps> Getting a lesson in gratitude. Oh. The Womp King. Oh, I was right. It is Womp. There are thwomps. Thwomps are the ones that are kind of prickly on the sides. The womps are the rectangular boys. Geometry is a little different. Okay. Well, he is hopping mad. He has made miniatures of himself. Whoa. Oh, he's murdering his babies. They're never going to be able to take the crown. Maybe that's intended. There we go. Two shots. Oh man, so many infant womps. They're adorable, oh boy. Stop it, quit it. It is nice though, they give you a little, oops, <laughs> a little outline of where you can, oh, this seems like danger. Crushed again, 13 years later, or many years after that later. I was gonna say, hopefully it puts me back on the platform because I was very close to the edge. I'm about to break. Okay, here we go. All kinds of nostalgia today, huh? How about it? Wonderfully done, everybody. Thank you for your hard work. I appreciate the effort. As we come back to just this disaster that the face ship is trying to endure. And another comment medal. We got a bunch of prankster comments that we're gonna be wrapping up here. In the next couple episodes. Ayo, once again. Lobo's back with his street talk. Hazardous materials on board. Appears we brought a bob bomb. Okay. Interesting. Let's go say hi to bob bomb. Hello, bob bomb. Mythical legendary world. 
Oh, I wonder how you get there. I bet collecting a lot of stars is a good start. Huh? Okay. Well, that's all we're going to do for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I'll see you next time. Bye.